Greetings. I'm the man behind the mask, and I'd like to talk to you about hockey. Show us what you got. That's right, the cult classic film Slapshot. The story of the underperforming players of the Charlestown Chiefs Hockey Club literally fighting their way to the top of their league once it's discovered that their team is in danger of folding at the end of the season. But did you know that despite this film's crazy characters and unbelievable antics, the tale of Reggie Dunlap, the three Hanson brothers, and the rest of the Charlestown Chiefs of the Federal Hockey League has quite a few roots in reality. Released in 1977, the screenplay for this film was written by Nancy Dowd and was partly based on her brother Ned Dowd's experiences playing minor hockey in the U.S. during the 1970s, at which time violence was a major selling point of the game. At the time, Ned Dowd was a member of the Pennsylvania team, the Johnstown Jets, of the North American Hockey League. Established in 1950, the Johnstown Jets club played its first three seasons as a member of the Eastern Amateur Hockey League, where they won consecutive championships in 1952 and 1953. But after the EAHL suspended operations following Johnstown's 1953 championship, the Jets joined the International Hockey League, where they played out their next two seasons, even making it to the Turner Cup Finals in 1954. However, when the EAHL started up again under the new name of the EHL in 1955, the Jets were quick to rejoin the league, where they would remain until the league's ultimate demise in 1973, collecting three more consecutive championships for their club in 1960, 1961, and 1962. Following the end of the EHL, the Jets joined the newly established North American Hockey League in 1973, a league where many franchises operated as developmental farm teams for the NHL's rival, the World Hockey Association. Their first NAHL season in 1973-74 ended with the Jets exiting the playoffs in the second round by the hands of the Syracuse Blazers, after finishing the regular season ranked fifth in a league of seven teams. However, during the following season in 1974-75, with the news that the club's owners had put the team up for sale, the Jets finished fourth in the now eight-team league and, led by the three Carlson brothers, Steve, Jack, and Jeff, stormed through the playoffs to ultimately be crowned the NAHL champions after defeating the Binghamton Dusters in the finals to take home the Lockhart Cup. It was during this season that Nancy Dowd had moved to the Johnstown area, and after observing her brother and his team play, was inspired to write the movie Slapshot. As an added bonus, since Dowd was also the film's producer, she made sure to use members of the actual Johnstown Jets team to play some of the roles in the film. Most notable were two of the Carlson brothers, Jeff and Steve, who were chosen to play the roles that they inspired as two of the infamous Hanson brothers. However, the third brother, Jack Carlson, was unable to play the remaining Hanson brother role since he was called up to play for the Edmonton Oilers of the WHA by the time filming began. So that role was instead filled in by another Jets player by the name of Dave Hanson, who was originally supposed to play his own counterpart in the film, Dave Killer Carlson. Also, Dowd's brother Ned was cast as the Syracuse goon Ogie Oglethorpe, who was based off of the legendary enforcer Bill Goldie Goldthorpe, who played for the NAHL's Syracuse Blazers before moving on to play for several WHA teams, 
and in only 194 professional games, racked up an amazing 1,132 penalty minutes. Additionally, Dowd made sure that Johnstown itself was chosen as one of the main filming locations for the movie. Off camera and back on the ice, the three Carlson brothers would continue their playing careers. Jack would spend four seasons in the WHA playing for Minnesota, Edmonton, and New England before appearing in the NHL with Minnesota and St. Louis over the course of another six seasons. Steve would also spend four seasons in the WHA with Minnesota, New England, and Edmonton, and then play 52 games for the Los Angeles Kings in the NHL, before spending the remaining years of his career in the minor leagues. And finally, Jeff would play in seven games for the WHA's Minnesota Fighting Saints in 1975-76, before bouncing around the minor leagues as well for the remaining seven seasons of his career. As for the Jets franchise... Well, following their 1975 championship run, they would play another two seasons as a member of the NAHL before the league folded in 1977. Following the NAHL's collapse, the Jets themselves were forced to fold in the offseason when the Johnstown flood of 1977 damaged the arena's ice-making equipment. Though the new Johnstown Wings, later renamed the Johnstown Red Wings, would try to replace the Jets in 1978, by 1980 they too closed up shop. However, in 1988, the town was once again granted representation with a hockey franchise, when the Johnstown Chiefs, named after the Jets' fictional counterpart from the film, joined the All-American Hockey League midway into the 1987-88 season. After that half season in the AAHL, the Chiefs then chose to hop leagues, and in the 1988-89 season became one of the founding teams of the East Coast Hockey League, where they were coached by none other than Steve Carlson, one of the famous brothers from the Johnstown Jets' 1975 championship run.